And you might want to follow along by going to swimshare.globeassistant yourself. And if you haven't signed in before, this is free. So you have options for signing in. You can sign in with your Google account or you can sign up with your email. If you've never signed in before, all you need is your name, email address, and a password. And you can sign in and follow along. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my Google. So this is a swimming workout. And, uh, this is just an example of a really big challenging workout that's already in my swim chair. And you can see that it gives us the breakdown of activity, stroke, and intensity. So we can see what percentage we've got going for this workout of all these different uh, strokes, you know, intensity levels and swim, kick, pull, drill, skull. And uh, I have this, oh, okay, so good. Yeah, I have this added feature of adapt for groups. So I have these groups, triple uh, X is my fastest group, T is my slowest group. So I choose which group I'm writing for and I always write for the fastest group. And I can set up my groups and manage groups and I have a bunch of test groups in here, but you can see I've deactivated uh, the uh, other groups and just kept active the ones that I'm using right now. So when I'm here, it only shows my active groups and it keeps things cleaner. And if I go to adapt for groups, it has taken this workout that I've written for my fastest group and it levels it down for me for my other training groups. So it'll adjust the reps or the distance or both and also the interval. And we can see on this per 100 average that um, it adjusts those as well for the speed of the groups. Um, let's see what we've got going on here in terms of our group settings. Okay. So um, I had talked about using this session to uh, specifically address dry land and to see how we can use Swimshare to create a dry land workout. So unless you uh, have another question or want to take this in another direction, I'm going to show some ways that we can kind of work around the system here and, and use this for dry land specifically to run the um, interval timers. So we use an app called Seconds Pro. Here it is. Um, so it's on the App Store. And it creates an, an interval timer based on what you've put in the swim share. And so this can be really useful if you're doing dry land circuits. So I'm gonna start a new workout here and just create some examples of dry land circuits that we can do. So I know it would be tempting to put reps if you're doing, you know, push-ups, whatever kind of dry land, I just say push-ups because you know everyone knows what that is, and that's that's pretty easy and common. So it would be tempting to say like 20 push-ups here. However, um, you might not want that if you're doing a circuit. You probably want the timer to give the total amount of time because we don't typically talk about you know, how long each push-up is gonna take. So we probably wouldn't do something like 20 times three seconds per push-up. We'd probably do one set of push-ups that lasts maybe a minute. And then, you know, we do another set of something else 
um, a set of jumps that lasts, you know, whatever, 30 seconds. And that way we're creating an interval timer that keeps us on the clock and it, you know, it has an alarm, it beeps um, to get us to the next session. Um, we can set in here a time between sets. So if you want to take, you know, 30 seconds or a minute or two minutes between sets, that would be between numbered sets. So maybe you don't want extra time between your push-ups and your jumps. So you call those both set one so that it doesn't automatically put this extra minute between them. But if we're doing, you know, push-ups, jumps, crunches, and I'm being very general with the exercises here. Uh, and, you know, if you've been on the Zoom calls with me and Steve, you're looking at much more swim specific exercises. Um, but just for simplicity's sake, in terms of learning how to use the program and create a clock, I'm just going to keep it really simple with the exercise descriptions. So we've got a minute of push ups, 30 seconds of jumps, 30 seconds of crunches. Now, maybe we want that rest to kick in. Um, but maybe if we don't want it to be, you know, half a minute or a minute, maybe we just want it to be 15 seconds. So we could just put a rest in here, you know, 15 seconds. And then I want this to be part of the same circuit. And I want to do this whole circuit three times through. So now what we've said is we're going to do a minute of push-ups, 30 seconds of jumps, 30 seconds of crunches, 15 seconds rest, and then cycle through that again. I'm going to call this, you know, dry land one. And I'm going to log this just so that I can show you how it would print out and how it brackets the set that we've written. Um, and then we'll take a look from there. So, sorry, part of my screen is blocked off here. Okay, that's, there we go. All right, so there's my dry land one. I guess I accidentally logged it twice. I'm gonna open it up as a printout and we're gonna see that circuit. So you can see it's bracketed three times through push-ups for a minute, jumps for 30 seconds, crunches for 30 seconds, rest for 15, and then keep going. And it, you know, it tells us how long that's gonna take. That's gonna take eight minutes, which is great if we're writing and we wanna know, uh, you know how long our workout is. So, okay, let's add another set. And then you know, after I add this next set or maybe two more, uh, we can look at how it actually looks on the clock export and how it would run us through that. Um, I just, you know, some features of the program that make it a little easier to use. If you decide that you want to switch the order, uh, if you decide, no, I actually, I want to do crunches before I do jumps, you can just drag that whole row by clicking on the three bars here and just click and drag and you can reorder that however you want. So that makes it pretty easy. Um, you can also use these tools here to duplicate. So you, to copy, paste, clear, delete the rows. Um, okay, so set number two, we're gonna do that circuit. Then we're gonna do set number two. Um, and maybe we're gonna do uh, streamlines on the wall. And we're gonna, you know, focus on those for maybe 90 seconds, really perfecting our street lines on the wall. So I'm gonna put a minute and 30 seconds. Um, and then let's get something, I wanna show off the interval timer, how we can do things, you know, at a, at a quicker pace. So we'll do a circuit and we're just gonna go ahead and set it up here in advance with three rounds. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Um, and, or sorry, this is set number three. We're gonna do it 
maybe five rounds through a bunch of short stuff. So I don't even know what it's going to be. I'll just say exercise A. And we're only going to do that for like five seconds. And then I'll put zero five. Oops. And then exercise B. We'll do for 10 seconds. Um, actually, this five second exercise, I'm just kind of thinking on the go. Maybe we'll do that four times five seconds, and then one times 10 seconds, and then one times maybe this exercise C is like a plank. I'll just go ahead and say that a plank. And we'll do that for 35 seconds, let's say. So another thing that's nice, again, with the time estimate is I don't really want to think about how long that's going to take, four times five seconds, 10 seconds. Well, it's not that hard. It's a minute and five seconds. but <laughs> um, And then you do that five times through. But it tells you the total time for the whole workout. So OK, I'm going to save the changes. And for, to, for the clock export, I'm actually going to go onto my phone. And this is a great thing about Swimshare is whatever you do on the computer automatically synchronizes with your phone. So you can see I've got my Swimshare icon right there on my phone. And you'll actually notice the first time you log into Swimshare, of course, it's not my first time logging into Swimshare, but it'll have a message for you the first time you sign on on your phone and it'll tell you exactly how to, how to add that home screen icon for swim share to your phone so that it's sitting there on your home screen with your apps but you can see when i open it on my phone it's already got this dryland one workout in there it looks exactly the same as it does on the computer and so we can continue working exactly where we've left off so i'll show the home screen icon again for swim share and Again, whatever we do is automatically synchronized from the computer to the phone. So I'm just going to go, we have the workout already the way we want it. And right below the workout, there's a button there that says clock export. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to download the clock, the pace clock, and that's going to pop up. Now, on yours, if this is a new account for you, you're going to need to activate the clock export feature. Um, OK, so it says, do you want to download this file? I'm going to say yes. Um, so that's an optional add on feature and Swimshare will tell you how to add it. You'll also need to get this app Seconds Pro. The Seconds Pro is the interval timer app that we use. And the reason we're not just working in Seconds Pro to begin with is because it actually takes a lot less time to put it into Swimshare and export it than it would to build the whole thing in Seconds Pro. So um, here is the interval timer I've just imported from Swimshare into Seconds Pro. And you can see it says, set one, part one of four, round one of three, one minute. And then it's got our 30 second part and another 30 second part and a 15 second part. And then um, it continues round two of three, a minute, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Then part round three of three, a minute, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, just like we did it. Then we get our minute rest after the whole circuit. And then we go into the, the 90 seconds of streamline that we talked about. And it's going to count that down. And then here's our rapid part. So we can see just five seconds. And we can watch it advance. And we can hear it beep. So that was one set of five seconds, or one rep, two, sec two reps. And so the beeps cue us in. And for your swimmers or your coaches, it's nice in Swimshare because they can 
just listen to the timer. If the coach has the timer going, if they want to be looking at the workout, uh, they can just open the workout as a PDF on their phone. So I'm going to go down to my workouts and on, on this load action here, sorry, uh, my bandwidth is uh, a little strained with hosting and, and running all this on the Wi-Fi, but it's loading. Um, so, okay. So on this load menu, I can say view as PDF, or this actually automatically goes out as an email to anybody that you have listed on your account to receive your emails. So when you write the workout, uh, it'll send the PDF and the seconds profile if you have that export. And then they can look at the workout just like this. So it has the first circuit bracketed. How many times were we doing that? Three times through. So you do that, all of that three, three rounds through, then you do your streamlines on the wall. Then you do this mini set five times through. And so it's nice to read it off this way. And then of course you can have your timer going to beat people through. So that's a pretty quick run through. Um, you know, we looked at a swim set. I'm gonna put it back on my screen. We looked at a swim set and you can see I'm back on my computer now. And it says new data found because we did stuff on our phone. So I'm just going to refresh um, to get everything that we did on our phone. I don't think we made any changes really, but it knows that we were using the phone. Okay, Swimshare app, uh, they asked, it, Swimshare app is Apple only. Swimshare app is not Apple only. It's um, any, any device can use the Swimshare app. Um, Correct. It, there's instructions on there to show how to use, how to add the icon on both Apple and on um, Android. Um, but I don't know, is the um, app for Seconds Pro, that, I think that's both, both Apple and Android, right? Mm -hmm. Both. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that one is also Apple and Android both. So yes, from any device, any operating system, it could be Chrome OS, it could be um, you know, Linux, I don't know what else people use, but uh, Mac, if you go to swimshare.clubassistant.com, then uh, you can use Swimshare on your laptop, your desktop, your phone. And again, it will synchronize your account across all the devices. So any changes you make on one device will instantly show up on the other device. So again, swimshare.clubassistant.com. Megan sent it out in the chat. You can sign in with your Google account, with your email account on any operating system, any device. So I've got my screen shared here just to see the workout that we put in. You know, we ran through creating a dryland workout. We saw it running on the phone. Uh, if there aren't any other questions, we can keep it short and you know, we can, we'll do another session as well. And if you have any specific questions, um, man, if you don't mind sending out my email, bridger at striveswim.com or bridger at clubassistant.com, if that's easier to remember. Um, they both go to me and you can ask any questions. If you've created your Swimshare account, I am also as, you know, an administrator able to see, uh, what, you know, I can see the same thing you see inside your account. So if you say, you know, I wrote this set, I have a question about how this works, we can, you know, customer service, we can get on your account and I can see what you see and help you out with that. All right, how are we doing, Megan? Oh, I just wanted to mention also that we have a, um, another demo where we actually show how to connect to the Seconds Pro app on, um, on the YouTube channel. Oh Swim, yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So um, I'm gonna just more. show that on my screen share here. Uh, this, uh, cause I didn't mention this info button, right? If you're in Swimshare and you click info, 
These are all tutorial videos. So uh, thank you for mentioning that, Megan. I, again, so anything you want to do in Swimshare, pretty much, we have a tutorial video. And Megan was just mentioning this Seconds Pro tutorial video. So this takes you through kind of just what we went over. And Megan did a great job making this video. Um, and she walks you through, you know, downloading the Seconds Pro app, setting it up on your watch. Um, and we didn't even mention that, you know, it runs on, on your watch too. So that can be really good on the pool deck or in a dry land if you have that timer going on your watch. Um, and Megan, you said we have another question. Oh yes, another question. Can workouts be imported from high tech workout manager from high tech? Oh, okay. Thank you for asking that. So as of now, we do not have an automatic import. But what we can do is if you email me, use the email address there, we do have an import process from high tech. So if you send me the file export, uh, I forgot what the file extension is, you know, it's like W K five or something, whatever the workouts file extension is. If you do that export from high tech, I can start the process of importing it for you. Um, and in the future, we're just gonna have an automatic uploader uh, where you can upload that, but we can eventually give us some time, but we can eventually get all your backdated workouts into your account on Swimshare from High Tech. yes. So I'm excited that you asked that question, thank you. All right, are there any other questions that we can go over? Or Megan, did I miss anything important? Is there a preferred method to export your, I know that the, you're able to export this um, Seconds Pro uh, screen onto a TV screen or something like that. What's the preferred mm -hmm. method to do that? Okay, so um, you can use, I'm just going to show this again on my phone. Um, oh, sorry. One thing that I missed before I do that, because I was just pulling it up on my phone. You, if you want to put intensity levels on these, you can also do that. Um, but you would need to put some distance value. Um, so if you just put one unit of distance, whatever that would mean, um, to associate an intensity level, then you can adjust those intensity levels. So, you know, this might all be super high. Um, actually, we can put an intensity level on rest. Um, you know, and then it'll start to show maybe these are slightly lower intensity, plank is high intensity. Then you can actually get some kind of a rough intensity chart. Uh, I just wanted to mention, and it'll color code your, your uh, timer clock because I was noticing mine's all gray here. Uh, but if you put intensity levels like I had on the swim workout, um, it'll actually color code by intensity level through the exercises. Okay, so in terms of putting this on a display, on a TV, whatever, uh, you can see it's not bad on your phone. Um, on an iPad, it's super great. An iPad's pretty much big enough if you prop it up on a chair or something or on the pool deck, you can use an iPad as a really good pace clock. And keep in mind, you can set this to count up instead of down, which would be more typical. Oh, let me turn my, my screen share off again. I forgot about that. Um, oh, where are my controls? There we go. Um, so, and then the other option is to do it to a TV. Um, I know with Android phones, it's pretty easy to connect to the HDMI in a TV. I think you need an adapter for an iPhone to connect to HDMI in the TV. Uh, some people have Apple TV where it's wireless and you can just go straight to the TV that way. So the ways that I've seen it done are 
uh, and I know people have done it with some kind of cable on the uh, iPhone, but you can connect to a flat screen with the HDMI cable, or you can connect with the uh, wireless, you know, Apple TV sort of thing to put it on a flat screen. That's a pretty cool feature. Yeah, um, you know, saves you 600 to 2000 bucks on a pace clock, depending. <laughs> It's even better than a pace clock, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it counts your reps for you. Exactly. Um, okay. Anything else? Okay, another question. Mm -hmm. In the tutorial videos, does intensity levels, etc., explained as I am used to high tech setup and have not tried Swimshare yet? Mm. Okay. So, yeah, we operate on a one through six intensity level, which, um, so high tech is going to be on the, some people call it the USA swimming system. Some people call it something else, but it's um, eight different levels from uh, recovery to uh, EN1, EN2, EN3, SP1, SP2, SP3, and what am I missing? I think it's eight levels, maybe it's just seven. Um, but yeah, those roughly map to, um, if you see the colors that we have here, white, blue, red, pink, purple, we're, we're kind of mapping to the Urbanchuk color system. Um, and there are tables I can send you if you want an email, there's a table of how to convert from different energy systems. Uh, basically, if you think of one being like, for us, the white being like a dead float, like almost nothing, um, to two being very smooth, super smooth, like warm down level. Three um, is pink, you know, it's kind of like the higher volume, still lower intensity, but full swimming. Um, red is anything that's going to be like a descend, a build, um, a pretty sustained intensity level for a long period. Um, blue is going to be super tight intervals, uh, super hard. And purple is like your race rehearsal, like dive from the blocks, uh, long rest, but sh very intense short bursts. Um, so yeah, if you want to email me, there, there's a conversion chart. Um, the other thing that'll be nice when we do get your high tech workouts imported, that um, not only will it automatically be able to convert to the one through six for you, and it'll automatically be ported in, will also allow you at that point to use the same energy systems that you're used to whatever energy systems you're used to. So if you want to use one through eight or one through nine, or you just want to label it EN1, SP2, um, we're going to expand to your own custom energy system or any standard energy systems that you want to use. So we're going to accommodate all of that. But like I said, if you want to email for the chart, that's great too how to put in a, how to get started and how to put in a dry land workout. So thanks again, email anytime, happy to help one-on-one -on -one with, um, you know, getting the most out of Swimshare. Okay, thanks Bridger. All right, thank you. Take care everyone, bye. Bye.